Two NASA astronauts on board a Boeing capsule in space will have, have to remain there a little bit longer. NASA and Boeing just announced there is still no return date set for the Starliner capsule crew. It has been nearly two months since astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams, Sonny Williams started their mission to the International Space Station. They were supposed to only stay in space for a week, but a thruster issue keeps delaying their return. NBC News correspondent Jesse Kirsch is following this one for us. Jesse, good to see you. So NASA and Boeing just wrapped up a press conference about the Starliner crew. Do we have any better timeline for when they could return? We don't, Kate. At one point, we were talking about late July, and after this latest briefing, it sounds like it's going to be sometime next month. What has to happen now is 27 of 28 thrusters on this spacecraft, of a specific type of thruster, are going to be hot fire tested, is how they described it, while the capsule is docked to the International Space Station where those two astronauts are right now. So they're going to do that test. We're also told that there's going to be an agency review, and that could come at the earliest, we're told, late next week. And so if you do the math there, we're looking at at least another week, it sounds like, before they could be leaving the ISS on Starliner. Here's some of what Boeing had to say earlier at this press conference. You know, our mission was to get the crew to ISS. That's been completed. Our mission was to learn from a flight test. Uh, a lot of the learning that we've we've uh, achieved so far really, in my opinion, could only be achieved through the flight test. And now it's time to uh, get on with returning the crew safely, and there's that step left to go. But here's the big picture mission, Kate. Overall, the goal is to get this spacecraft certified for use regularly with NASA, and it's unclear if that can still be achieved with just this one test flight with a crew on board. Kate. Mm. All right, Jesse Kirsch for us. Jesse, thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.